over the last almost 20 years, the number of college administrators has gone up about 60 percent. And when you're talking about taxpayer money, should you invest in administration or students? Education reporter Kim Wheeler joins us from the Tri-C, where we investigated why they have so many administrators. Kim? Well, Chris, we noticed that there were 15 vice presidents here at Tri-C, and we wondered why. So we decided to ask some questions. Now, one student also pointed out that some of the buildings are not in great shape. Like, take a look at this railing. It's all rusted out. The cement down here is cracked. So the question is, could the money be better spent elsewhere? Meet Shanita Lewis. She is a Tri-C nursing student and mom of three, trying to make a better life. It's a lot of waste going on here. Cuyahoga Community College has the lowest tuition in Northeast Ohio, with 50,000 students at multiple campuses. But it was the multiple vice presidents, 15, and the more than 20 executive directors that caught our eye. I think it's often an issue of how you choose to use your resources. April Freely is co-chair of the Ohio Part-Time Faculty Association. She says over 70% of Tri-C faculty is part-time, meaning no benefits. She points out that across the country, administrators have had 10 times the growth as tenured faculty. I think that we owe it to our young people to put the money into things that are going to help them succeed. Tri-C has seen enrollment skyrocket in recent years and helps many students like Shanita. But she questions whether too much is going to the top. It's a lot going on at Tri-C um, that could be different if we had more funding and the funding is going into all the wrong places, I feel. So you prefer to see money invested in academics versus administration? Absolutely. Now we did get a statement from Tri-C and it reads in part that each of our vice presidents has a clearly defined role that is vitally important. Also, they say we believe our organizational structure is both appropriate and effective. Now, I did reach out to Lakeland Community College, which is much smaller than Tri-C. They have four vice presidents and two associate vice presidents. So we just wanted to look at that as a point of comparison. But again, that is a much smaller campus than what Tri-C is, Chris. All right, Kim Wheeler reporting. Thank you, Kim.